you're in for a good time. They close up with the Akai. Solid lineup from both teams. I'm liking how Team Lilgun is playing with initiative again. They pick their fights, they know they want to burst down, and they can do that via so many angles of attack. AP Brendo, they are a blunt force weapon. They are a sledgehammer. They are a shield used to wreck skulls on the battlefield. I'm liking their more often. They're going to be trying to support their side lanes faster oh, and ugly. sooner, much like this. No flicker for Ogwen, still able to escape with the help of the shield unity from Caltesius. Vlasteezy rotates over, Sixora caught in enemy lines. Aizen flickering forward, looking for an exchange, finds one, but now he's caught as well. Corbett providing oh. some support. Aizen again with a vengeance, two times getting the sustain. Ethan body blocking, but now Ooh. few ties him up. Back. Shield unity to the back, finding another. Now it's Ethan and Forbid caught under siege. It's another kill from Forbid, and it it's hard to find the window because oh. if the damage is real, it's gonna have to be AP Brand overcommitting. Look at this. Kyle's just walking Forbid down, forcing a Nether Realm and a heavy spin to Red Dot Armor. And this is more than enough to ramp up AP Brand into a power spike in the mid game. And with all this heal, AP Brand, the Nicholas of Durance triggered by Forbid is a kill. It should be, and Kyle just takes it alone under the turret. Two turtles. See, even that, even that might be trouble because if you hit the divine judgment onto the Minotaur, isn't that a losing fight already? No, but when he is when he's uh, in the middle of using his ult, it's not. Well, Sora is in the middle of using his ult. Heavy spin to disengage. Forbid gets out. It's barely though. Gets poked down. And what happened? Oh. What, where was that? It's a kill it over was in, mid. in the mid lane. Flap Teasy got. That's it. why they're holding on and maybe oh, go for the I steals. Can. Just for the dive, Aizen, the XP laner, the durable guy on the team gets going to be the impact player right now, as he has been for the past oh, eight flat. minutes. Oh, Kyle's brought back all the way to Divine Judgment as well, locks him down under the turret, Bebex. Ooh. So away by Flap, it's going to be Kyle TZ who falls, a flicker backwards from Bebex, as Sora jumps in again. Now with the help of another round, the heavy spin, Flap! A flicker and a punch what? to knock Bebex out of the back. And now it's Forbid, who's forced to flicker defensively as well. Team Lil gets into oh, turret range. Zixora. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, Zixora looking for a steal, now gets isolated and taken down. Meanwhile, Flap, who was isolated as well, gets out easily. Oh, Marco triggered it because so far, Whoa. we haven't seen him flying. Divine Judgment, now it's Ogwen under the turret. Zixora trying to zone with a heavy spin, now pins them down. Ogwen still oh. has immortality. Isaac faded to the back line. Meanwhile, Kyle brought back again under the turret. Isaac, that's a crossbow attack. Whoa. Your question will be answered. It's Super Marco on the back, deleting, melting them down, but only finding one. Okay, to answer the question, yes, if they juggle their HP bars the way they did now. They knew that there was just barely enough to keep them alive. Oh. But AP Bren! They're just going in. Zixora now going to be mobilized and taken out. It's Flap going massive. A knockout strike to zone Ethan away, but now it's going to be Bebex dealing some damage back. Marco, he doesn't care. He wants oh. to go in. Whoa. 1v3, no problem. He likes those odds. A killing spree for Super Marco. Maybe Brandy have drawn the line, oh. but I can see committed. One final play, a desperate play. Uh -huh. Called in by Lil Gun. This is the big gun coming in, and they find the Lord, but they get knocked up. Now Super it's them Marco. losing another Realm HP. Ethan buys Immortality in time, but it's still going to be Forbid who loses out on his life. Ethan chased down Divine Judgment to buy some time. He loses another Immortality. Aizen is running for the hit. He knows he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Ogwin knows he has his man. <laughs> he's under Ooh. house arrest. <laughs> what? That's why he has the title Super. He's not just Marco. Zixora gets out and now to turn in the mid lane. That means AP Brandon hoping that this game ends soon because they did not expect. Are we uh, just going to allow that to go under the radar because Zixora stole the Lord? Final slash. Truly is going to be the final slash for him here as AP Brent take him down for the sixth oh, time. He can be anywhere at any time. The screening, man. Ogwin spotted that from a mile oh, away. Kyle. And now Bonk. is the pinch down. Kaltizi, Shield Unity, Heavy Speed, bringing him back all the way to the turret. The base turret now locked down with the Divine Judgment as well. But Ogwin finds a four man. That's even more than Nether oh, Realm. Who has been taken out instantly with a crossbow tank, only getting one member low. Ethan still has his mortality intact. And it's going to be Little Gun, who actually are able able to stop AP Bren from doing more damage to the base. But the Lord, he's done enough. That's right. The turrets are able to equalize the engagement. But just like that, AP Bren are back on it. Oh. Flap jumping in. Final Ooh. slash. Bring them back. Brutality. By the winner, Truncheon now popping in. Zixora going to be knocked up right now. The crossbow tank is ready again. But he's not 
doesn't have it on cooldown. Winner Truncheon by Aizen, buying some more time as the Ghost Burster does it. Right, Bebex versus Super Marco. It's going to be the true damage that gets him out now. Shredding Calteezy, oh! lays wide right open. Flat Teasy <laughs> boxes the base and takes game number one. The Philippines champion takes game number one against the Mongolian downloaders. Will things look good? Will the virus be installed? That's the question. I think you mean Le Champion. Is this AP Bren looking at a, an assassin setup? An assassin setup actually seems a little <laughs> bit tempting here, but no, they go with the safest route. They go for it. They will tilt your junglers once again. Martis for Team AB Bren. A pseudo assassin, right? I mean, it's a pseudo one. It can work in the early game. You get a snowball and you Sora holding it down. Ogwen, barely to level four now. Let's see the setup, Ethan. Oh. Gonna be chunk low, right there, good. Oh, Onward and an Earth Shatter as well, but it's gonna be a taunt coming down. A final slash, displacing Zixora. But the Circling Ego does the same to Ogwen, who's now in the final Ooh. rap form. It's going to be few! What? Not the two junglers, it's the mid laner who finds it. Kyle looking for the Decimate, he finds Ethan. Ooh. And that's Forbid who gets another. The Earth Shatter knocks Forbid up, he's looking for more, but he will not be able to find an AP Fred clutch win. They want to go for more, Flicker! Ooh. And they stun Flap Teasy! Vengeance into the turret, what? and now slashes what? Sora into the team. One more! One last hit is what they Ooh. need! But six Sora places to execute the damage dealing, the carry potential with Bebex. The turn. Combo yeah. with the torn apart oh, memory, and it's scary. Two man stun with an Earth Shatter. Now it's going to be top from Zixora. Locking open down for a bit. He still has a final wrath. We'll choose to pop it uh. here. Interesting. Oh, it's gonna be Aizen with a penalty zone onto four. It doesn't gauge just as fast, but Ethan is able to find a kill. And now onto Flap TZ they go. One before in the midst of it all. Oh. It's another shatter and a total part memory that takes Flap down and gives a turtle over to Lil Gun. Beautiful execution by Team Lil Gun. Beautiful engage from Aizen. Beautiful stack slaying by Bebex. And it was all started by a circling eagle gold gain matchup. And Team Little Gun is looking great. Team Little Gun yeah. is gaining where they need to because if Super, uh, rather, if Kyle is up, then that doesn't mean much. Oh, oh. No. Just deleted instantly. Deleted from that mid lane. Flap TZ walked up a bit too over aggressive. All the most of it on Bebex. They're actually forcing AP Bren to have these odd engages. And now look, Kyle's oh. down. They just look for very awkward ways to enter these pickoffs. These angles are just. An amount of gold up. Unless they capitalize, oh. there's not much. Aizen! He's getting melted down. That's the damage that Super Marco does right now. That's scary, because he doesn't even help. Oh. Oh, a good final slash into the Earth Shatter. Flap TZ gonna be locked down right now with the Circling Eagle knocking him up as well. But look at that poke. All the oh, way out. Oh, Earth Shatter flicker combo. Bringing Aizen back with the hall. Everybody's able to flicker back as well. Good Primal Wrath. But Bebex, my goodness, that damage was disgusting. Team Brenner, Team Little Gun players on the map that we don't want to waste time while, while staying. And now the Lord dance. Oh, it's not even a dance. Oh, I can see him. The poking Calteezy down in the front. Oh, Earth Shatter coming down. They're not going to go for oh. a commitment just yet right now. But Aizen will lose his life. Super Marco dealing so much damage. Oh, Gwen, find immortality. That's going to be Bebex swept over to the side of the team. And Foreman jumps in a back now, outplayed Ooh. by Super Marco. 3v5, Marco back with the BMI. Bebex running for the hills. That's an appraiser's rat on a torn apart memory. Flap TZ sustaining for just a bit. Zixora trying to stab him, but he's still gonna be alive. Super Marco dealing some damage. Ethan revealed an Astral Sphere connects onto oh. Bebex. Ooh. Super Marco found two kills and now buys the RGM. They're on the Lord and this might be it. They're ticking back into the game. The no, no. turn, the oh, turn. important vision is to this Lord. And look yeah. at Bebex. Uh -huh. He's all the way up top. He can't oh. rotate fast enough. Aizen gets bursted down. Yes, that looked like burst, but it's actually DPS. That's just how fast Super Marco can get it done. And AP Bren, they're that lords at playing the Lord Dance. They know how to do this. They know how to play the long game. Bebex has to deal with two waves as a Brody. And AP Bren will get the Lord. This time they ball for free. No contest. No contest. And that's it. That, that's dangerous. If you did not send a single hero to help defend, they, it would have been over. Given how, yeah. Yeah, given how huge those waves are and all three coming in too. Well, Bebex going back, that's what triggered Team AB Ren to take that Lord down in a, in a blink of an eye. So at this moment, I would actually recommend that the XP Lander who would have won goes back. But again, 
at some at, at a certain point, I thought that Super Mark will actually split Bush because since the early game, he have been taking those turrets down. I thought that we might see a steal with this Lord Dance, but it seems like they want to finish it the proper way. They're playing it honest now. AP Brand knows that they have more firepower, more reliable sources, mm -hmm. and vision. Oh, look at that. Catches all five. Ooh. Zixora swept towards the side of AP Bren. And it's Flap Tizi who finds the vengeance. That's an onward and another shatter. Aizen, a DPC. The immortality bought by Cal Tizi. Little gun on the brink of elimination. Few going to lose his immortality over with the primal wrath. Just a hit on the base. AP Bren will be undefeated in groups. They will take Little Gun down and they will eliminate them from M5. Blazing duets. Dancing on the bodies of Team Lil Gun. Here I carry some good news for two teams. AB Bren and Team Brimis Ghouls advance to the play.